Hey, what's up, guys? Biz here from tensebit.com back with another video. And in this one, I will be showing you how you can export your Java application from Eclipse as a jar file, and then later on, you can convert it into an .exe file which is more prominent for any application. So, let's get started. So, open your Eclipse and the project that you have been working on. Here, I've got a converter application which basically does nothing but just converts in different numbers you know different type of numbers like binary to decimal decimal to hexadecimal or octal kind of things like that I'll just run it and show you what it basically does so here is my end-to-end -end converter using this you can choose which type of number you want to put as input like if I am using octal I'll just enter any octal number and I can change it into decimal, binary or hexadecimal and similar things I can do with any kind of numbers etc. Now if I want to make this application available to the like to anyone else then what I need to do I need to export it because obviously not everyone has Eclipse or something like that right. So just click on file over here then click on export now just choose under java double click on this runnable jar jr file and here in the launch configuration you need to select the name of your main class for me this is already selected the, the format is like the name of the main class hyphen and then the package name so this is selected for me i'll just choose the same and then the export de destination I'll just keep it on the desktops for easy usage you know this is also selected properly now just click on finish done my application is exported to desktop here is it here is my number converter if I double click it right now and it should open there you go it's a runnable Java application now it will run on any kind of platform for sure but you know as I said earlier you need any software with .exe format that's more prominent you know that looks good and it also needs to have a different icon so let's do it now for it you need to first of all create the icon for your software that I've done done already using paint now you can use Photoshop or anything else if it's like some high level application or something like that for demonstration purposes I've just created this simple image file using paint so here is my PNG file now I have to convert it to a dot ico file to use it as an icon so I'll just open this convertico.com now this site using this site you can convert any PNG files into an dot ico file that we need basically so let's do it there are many other sites on the internet you can find out for the similar purpose now there is my png file upload it and then just download it it will be on the same directory I guess okay let me just bring it to desktop again there you go there is my icon now you need to download an application called launch4j which will convert your jar file into an executable file so just go to google now type launch4j there you go and this is the cross platform java executable wrapper all that thing so just open it there just go to the download and just click on this one the latest version launch 4 win 32exe and it will redirect you to the source forge download mirror your download will start from here then you can install it 
now I've already downloaded and installed it so I'll just use it right now so I hope you can install that application because it's not so easy just follow the simple procedures so I'll open launch 4G right now so here's the app now this is the jar so make sure you are in the basic section now click on this icon to browse your jar file there is my number converter select it and the output file I'll just put it in the same destination you know and I'll name it what converter as simple as they go version 2.0 to make it look a bit cool and make sure to keep the dot exe at the end I forgot it and here's the icon link as I've already created an icon I will just use it there is my new icon and pretty much done here so now go to JRE in the minimum version JRE set whichever version you want I'll just set 1.4.0 so it will run on most of the systems then single instance yeah allow only a single instance if you don't select this option then any user will be able to open multiple instances of your application and then use them simultaneously and I believe that you won't really like it so just you know make sure that you allow only a single instance Murex just put any name I'll just put that and just click this gear icon give any name for the XML file like A, B, C, D anything else make sure to put a unique one for yourself click on save and see the magic done so here's my software converter version 2.0 double click it and there's your application your runnable Java application in a .exe or executable format which is more prominent so thank you guys for watching and if this video has helped you in any manner then give a thumbs up down there share this video and if you got any kind of questions or things that you don't understand make sure to ping me up in the comment section I'll get back to you as soon as possible and don't worry about those download links or something like that because I'm putting them in the description you can check that out from there have a nice day